Okay, what you're looking at is uh, two frags of Monopora. Uh, I believe the one on the right is a Sunset. Uh, and the, the small piece on the left is uh, Idaho Grape that have uh, grown up against one another and of course the battle ensues. This is to, to demonstrate or to test whether or not a laser would be effective at maintaining those margins or a DMZ if you will between two uh, potentially battling corals. In this case it's not that bad because they're both Monies. Um, um, they're actually uh, uh, kind of just growing right up against one another. But in other instances where you've got acros versus something else, uh, there's a distinct reason or to keep them separate, uh, to eliminate the, the battles and the, the allopathy and other things that can, that can ensue. So this is the test, again, using a 1800 milliwatt, 445 nanometer laser. And in this case, we're shooting through a slightly bowed glass uh, pane. Uh, and the, the targets, the monopore, are just literally within two inches or so from the inside, uh, uh, inside the pane. Uh, also important to note, I have safety goggles in place. There is no one else in the environment. And I've gone ahead and used a green targeting laser prior to, to this to, to, to look for any dangerous reflections or also to make certain that the reflection wasn't going to impact other corals nearby and then cause any damage. Okay, here we go. Alright, so again, the, the, the goal here is just to kind of lays a line separating uh, the two corals. And you can see that all the polyps in the immediate area close. I'm not going to go all the way back, just to uh, do the very front corner and then we'll watch this for, for uh, a few months thereafter to see what the recovery is like and if uh, we think it could be a, vi a viable use. Hopefully you're able to hear the popping and sizzling sounds and I can already see things starting to slime up. Okay. All right. Uh, well, as I said, we'll uh, we'll continue to watch that for a few months. We'll see what, if anything, develops. And thanks for watching.